Welcome to my channel. If you are interested in renewable energy sources and the mechatronics surrounding them, you have come to the right place. I have many ideas that I want to realize, and this channel gives me the opportunity to share my observations, experimental results, and exchange experiences. I invite you to watch. Many of you, as well as me, looking for the possibility of building a slow speed generator, found a very popular design. Just like these. This construction is relatively easy to make at home. Unfortunately, the efficiency is not very high. It does not use the potential of the permanent magnets used. The final result is often far from expectations. The only calculations we make, are the geometric proportions and the ratio of the number of magnets to the number of coils. We choose the thickness of the steel disc by feel. To do it right, we need to calculate the electromagnetic parameters of the generator. We need to determine, and calculate the following parameters. The number of magnets on one disc. The diameter on which the centers of the magnets lie. Cross section of the core. Magnetic properties of steel. Value of residual induction. Coercive field strength. Magnetic permeability coefficient. Induction and magnetic field strength both in the magnet and in the air gap. Induction in the shields. The number of turns of the coil taking into account the current carrying capacity. Number of coils per phase. Coil resistance. Resistance and reactance of the entire winding. And after all this, we can calculate the voltage at a certain speed and the power of the generator. Link to calculate generator parameters in the video description. I did all these calculations in a spreadsheet. Through trial and error, I was able to choose the right parameters. If you go to the website I mentioned earlier, you will see that the coil windings have to be wound separately. And this is a tedious and time-consuming job. So I decided to do it completely differently. I was inspired by this photo. Of course, I was consulted with the author of the article, who is habilitated Dr. Engineer Bogusław Karaluski from Wrocław University of Science and Technology. According to Engineer, the biggest problem will be the physical shaping of the coils. And this is primarily what this movie is about. All right, that's enough of these beautiful images. It won't do itself. So, let's get to work. Before we get to winding the coil, let me show you the generator I designed. It is a three-phase generator. It has 16 pieces of N45 neodymium magnets on one disc, a total of 32 neodymium magnets and 1 mm diameter copper wire. As you probably guessed, the generator will be used in a vertical axis wind turbine. And here is the graph of the theoretical voltage characteristic of the generator.
Of course, I did not use a 3D print made of polylactide. This is not a good idea because the softening point of this material is around 60 degrees Celsius. I used the PLA printout as a mother to make a silicone mold and then to make an epoxy resin casting. And here are the results. Unfortunately, I haven't yet had the helpful toys you saw a moment ago, so the build quality is worse. Now it's time for the next layers of the generator, but more on that in the next episode. See you next time.